This exercise is about chemical kinetics. Let's consider a hypothetical reaction between A, B and C that is zero order in A, second order in B and first order in C. Firstly, we need to write down the rate law for the reaction. R equals the rate constant multiplied with A, which reacts in zero order, times B, second order, times C in first order. This reaction is of third order because the sum of all three exponents equals three. The rate constant of the reaction third order has the unit liters squared divided by mole squared second. The rate unit is always the same mole divided by liters second. In the following example are concentrations A, B and C, all equal to 2 mole per liter. These numbers do not have to be the same. They are chosen for the purpose of experimentation only. The constant was chosen to be 2 times 10 to the power of minus 2. The rate of this example can be calculated to 0.16 mole per liter second. So how does the rate change when A is tripled and the other reactant concentrations are held constant? As you can see here, by tripling concentration A, the result will not be influenced because the factor to the power of 0 is always 1. So the weight doesn't change. Below you can find the example from the beginning with a tripled concentration of A. Again the rate is equal to 0 0.16. Next up, how does the rate change when B is doubled and the other reactant concentrations are held constant? Since concentration B reacts in second order, the factor that double B is also squared and 2 to the power of 2 equals 4. Now the rate is 4 times faster in the example. Therefore the rate is 4 times 0 0.16 which equal to 0 0.64. Now, how does the rate change when C is tripled and the other reactant concentrations are held constant? Just like before, the increased concentration is plugged into our rate law. C is first order, which means 3 to the power of 1 equals 3. This, of course, also leads to an increase of the value 3 times the point 0.16 is 0 0.48. Second to last, by what factor does the rate change when the concentrations of all three reactants are doubled? We double all those concentrations. The exponents of the ex concentrations lead to our factor. So 2 to the power of 0 times 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to the power of 1 equals 8. So the factor is 8. We find that the rate is now 8, eight times faster than with the original concentrations. So the outcome is 1.28. You can see 8 times faster than with the original. Last but not least, by what factor does the rate change when the concentrations of all three reactants are cut in half? Instead of doubling all concentration, we now halve them all, as you can see here. And half is weighted by the order, so one half to the power of zero times one half to the power of two times one half to the power of one equals an eighth. 
the original rate of 0 0.16 reduces by 8 therefore equal to 0 0.02